Oh, ha! Top of the morning, friends and family. We're going. You guys can't leave your Legos in the middle of the floor like that, man. It's going to kill somebody. I'm the chick. I'm the pink Okay, chick. focus. My Do you have everything? <laughs> I've got my life I'm still, thankfully, after chipping over that huge box of Legos in the middle of the floor. Well, I guess I should look where I'm going. Maybe that would probably help, too. Yeah, you're the one who always tells us all of all. And you aren't listening to your own advice. True. Whoa, whoa. Oh, you want to talk about watch where you're going? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Man, it's dangerous around here. Hopefully I'm going to make it to my destination. <laughs> oh my gosh. You do that sometimes too. Just saying. Hillary cooked some of the most phenomenal sourdough bread I've ever had in my entire yeah. life this morning. Yeah. Power on super powered sourdough oh, bread right now. sourdough. Ooh, we're gonna have tennis courts soon. Who wants to see a tennis court battle between me and Hillary? If you had to take a guess, who do you think would win in a tennis match? Me or that? I would like to mention that I do have uh, Eastern European blood, specifically Lithuanian. Pretty sure they're good tennis players. I can't wait to beat Eli in tennis 10 times in a row. Woo! It's yeah. dangerous out here this morning. What is going on? We, we've almost died three times where we haven't even got to the highway yet. Hillary's like, can you get me some sunglasses? I grabbed some sunglasses. And she's like, oh, these ones are done. These ones are toast. They're no good anymore. I was like, oh, yeah, okay. And then I was like, well, what about this pair right here? Oh, no, those are done too. So luckily she's got a third pair over there. But you know what could really fix all of this is uh, hmm, maybe a sunglasses case. Could keep them safer than... I had them there. Leia stole that thing. Mm. So right. I'm I wanted to, I wanted to. I bite it on my food. I'm not. 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 I'm Mm. Me too. Time. I will. Okay. <laughs> Be safe. <laughs> All right, right, right. No dying on the way. Okay. A little accident prone today. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much stuff. Oh, that's a, I love the haircut. Oh, yeah. It's beautiful. Thanks. That's really nicely done. <laughs> Hi, Papa. All right, baby. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Feels so good to be doing a travel vlog again. I love flying out of this airport, too. It's just nothing like LAX. It's just the opposite of LAX. Fantastic. Look, it's beautiful out here. No people. Well, there's some people, but not like LAX, that's for sure. Why am I packing so many bags for just a quick little trip? I'll show you. Let's go. If it wasn't obvious, yep, we're in Arizona. Bill, CMB Reptiles, that guy back there. Man, I got some stories to tell you guys already. Garrett tried to kill my partner on the airplane. I got a thing on my ankle, small now, but I was dancing super hard at my cousin's wedding, and I got this little thing on my ankle now, and I, I don't know what to say about it other than, ouch! I know you guys are dying to see what I got in the bag, so we're gonna, we're gonna get over to the CMB Reptile shop I'll show you guys what I got in the bags, just because I know that everybody's super curious. I know Garrett's super curious, like what, what kind of- I am so curious. He packs like my wife and my wife's sister when he flies, it's crazy. Oh, I had a big event last month. I brought in, I let 10 breeders come into the shop and sell to the general public. 
I had one of the biggest that. days I ever had in my life. And I thought, I'm gonna be dead now for doing this. I'm gonna be dead for days. Followed it up with four solid, except for opening weekend, record-breaking days for doing that. I couldn't believe it. So I figure if I do something good for the community, you know, I'm trying to build a reputation on that store that just can't be beat, you know, and trying to do everything I can to connect with the community. And that's why I'm doing these first Sunday things. And every first Sunday of the month, I'm gonna be doing something else. Bringing somebody else in or, or having a big sale or um, having music or, uh, I don't know, free food. I don't know, something. Every month we're gonna do something. And uh, pretty exciting, pretty exciting stuff. All right, all right, all right. I'm not gonna keep you guys waiting forever about what's in the bag. Most important thing, bottle of 18 year old scotch that Jesse got me for my birthday, that's important. Had to bring that. Mic stands, tripods, podcast stuff. Lighting set that you will never see anywhere in this video except for right now, you're not gonna see these lights ever again. But they're there, always. What I mean is you're not gonna see the actual lights. The lights will be shining on the things you will be seeing. Does that make sense? And then, microphones and gimbal for that super, super smooth shot that you're about to see right now, actually. We're not gonna show you what's in there. <laughs> so the main reason Garrett and I came out to Arizona to the CNB Reptile Shop was to give a talk on our own specific subjects, me being using social media for positivity in the reptile community. Garrett, of course, give a talk on super dwarves. But instead of showing you guys the talk, I'm just gonna hang out with some of the animals and some of the people that were there, and that's what we're gonna do. Check out this rat snake. Yes. Beautiful. I wanted a blue beauty rat snake for the longest time, and this is not a blue beauty. It's a it's a cave rat snake, but uh, it's a clad rat snake. It's look, a it's look, clad. Look. <laughs> what are you trying Flat. to get me bit? What's Flat. happening? Right here. <laughs> I don't know why I'm wearing a flannel in 100 degree weather. It just doesn't make sense. But look at this snake, dude. Wouldn't you want a snake like this? I was hanging out with a snake like this, a snake discovery. That was the blue beauty. You guys didn't see it on here. That was some Patreon only content. But uh, yeah, anyway, check it out. Hey, Whitney. Hi. This is Whitney <laughs> and Luetta and Sophie checking out their local reptile shop, just like, uh, you know, normal kids. my favorite animal here at CNB Reptile. I just gotta say, I've just fallen in love with this little thing, man. Or big thing. I mean, gecko speaking, this thing is huge. Look at the eyes. Look when he just looks right into your soul. It feels like he stares right into your soul. Sees right past all your bullshit and just right into your soul. Freaking fantastic, man. I want one like really badly now. I think I just might have to, uh, no, I can't, no. No more impulses, no impulse buys, Cusco. Just get yourself together. Yeah, 
yeah, let me know what you guys think about this guy, dude. I mean, favorite reptile you've ever seen on this channel ever? It's kind of where I'm at. just have little diamond out, little western hog nose. She is an anaconda, <laughs> super conda actually. It looks a lot like a hog nose. Oh, you said anaconda? Western hog nose, yeah. Super conda. Sorry, I was trying, I was trying to make a really stupid joke. It <laughs> fell flat on its face. I've got no gauge for how big western hog nose snakes should be at two years old. They're the perfect size snake. Hog nose snakes have been some of your highest selling animals since. Yep. What, what do you think the, what would you attribute that to? Um, because I love them, so I can really sell them. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, hey, you know, nothing better than when loving you, something. It, yeah. Like, when you really love something, it just, it, it shines out. And I think it's, um, it's an attainable purchase. You know, it's not too expensive. I think they're great for starter snakes because somebody might not want a four and a half foot snake, like a ball python. So I think the hog nose is perfect for that. Nobody can de deny the cuteness of a hog nose snake. No, they're even, like the pug of a snake. Even my sister-in-law who's just like snakes, no thank you, but I showed her a picture of a hog nose, she's like, oh, it's cute. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, super cute. You know how you make these guys look really cute? You just uh, rub some mouse on your fingers and then hold one. That's oh, like, yeah. super cute. And now we have a toffee over there that is just bitey. It's never bitten me, but it's bitten two little kids and an adult. <laughs> oh, but like, like, bite, bite. hunger. Because no. they don't generally, right. really, like, right. a, like a defensive it's, bite? Yes. That's almost unheard of. That's why Bill put it out on the floor, because he didn't want it. <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> Usually they just, like, smack you with their nose or yes. something, you know, all these false mm -hmm. strikes. But to actually do a defensive bite? Yeah. Weird. You heard it here first, folks. The only shop in the United States that has defensively biting hog nose snakes. Yes. Come to CMB in Phoenix to get defense bitten by Western hog nose. <laughs> I was gonna take out this black throat monitor for you guys, but I don't think he likes me very much. Has he bit you? No. This one has. The one over here. They like to call. His name's Midnight. Midnight. He, he just talks to you. You know, that's all he does. Black throat monitors are just super cool. I mean, they get obviously much bigger than this if you know black throat monitors. But it's like a, it's like a dinosaur. I mean, yeah, everybody says dinosaur, but. These guys just have a certain look about them. If you've ever seen an adult, like this is just probably, if you wanted to walk a lizard on a leash and just feel like a complete badass, I feel like this is the lizard to do it with. And these guys are actually gonna be doing 50% off all their monitors, I think for the next week. So if you guys are uh, in Arizona, you're looking for a cool monitor, well, you know where to come. He's not pooping on me, nothing. Look at that. No poop, zero poop. Whoa, dude. Hey, relax, relax. Shh, 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 shh. Take it easy, take it easy. Oh my gosh. It's so crazy, I know, it's so crazy. Just relax, everything's good, everything's okay. I'm not gonna hurt you, I'm not gonna hurt you. Everything is okay, all right? This is a little peach throat monitor, and he decided he wanted to try and eat my fingers a little bit, which luckily is not too bad. And this one, all the peach throat monitors I've held before, their uh, claws are very, very, sharp but this guy seems to have very gentle nice easy going claws which is nice 
he's obviously freaked out, but listen, little buddy, you're okay. I'm not going to eat you. I'm not going to hurt you. We're just going to hang out. We're going to be friends. Everything's going to be A-OK. I promise. No death. No pain. Just nice, easy. Now, you got to take in mind, I mean, these, these monitors, when they're babies like this, they're obviously very scared and, and flighty, and this one maybe more so than others, but... I think it just takes some time. Not that I have any experience with monitors myself, you know, raising them in it, but just if you treat something with love and respect, eventually they'll get to know you and they'll be okay with it. That's my that's my take on it. So, but I don't need to hold on to you. Look, I'll just let go of you and we'll hang out. Everything's good. I'm just gonna let go of you now, and I'm just gonna let you cruise. Okay, everything's all right. See, hey, see, there you go, there you go. Look, we're friends. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm not gonna hurt you at all. Just hang out. We'll be all fine. Don't. There you go. See? Check on my ear, but just don't eat it, okay? <laughs> there we go. I made a friend. Feels good. <laughs> Robert voted for us in the snake discovery and closure build up, and that's awesome. Look what he's got going here. <laughs> he's looking to get some bioluminescent mushrooms going on in that enclosure. I think that would be sweet. Yeah, it's. I have the string of hearts, which is my favorite piece in there, and then the uh, Arabian sunset. Look at this. What this guy does. I want to be like him one day and be in the reptile industry. And this now guy, look at this, me. This guy tells me he's like, he's like yeah, I was. I've been watching you since I was a kid, man. And now I'm like, that's for you. I'm man. old. It's now I'm just old. It's a beard, man. It's a beard. Don't don't make me shave it. And then you know, my wife was like, what is? What are we back in high school again? Don't, you know, don't kill me. Come on. Man. What's your favorite thing about the event? Um, probably meeting you guys. That was a good answer. <laughs> <laughs> and getting to handle all the fun snakes and stuff like that. Yeah, it's yeah. nice to see other people's animals. What's your favorite channel on YouTube? Yours and his. <laughs> You're not just saying that because I put my camera no. in your face? I actually do like your channel. All right, all right, I believe you. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> what brings you out here this fine day? To visit you, my love. <laughs> Let's take pictures. Oh, not on that. Not on, not on this? <laughs> this one takes such good pictures. Yeah. No, it does take really good pictures. Really super good pictures. This okay, is 4K. Oh, let's do both. All right. There you go. We just took like 50 pictures. She just came over to let me know that actually, actually, I'm her second favorite. So apparently she saw Garrett first, even though she was watching me since she was a little kid, and Garrett didn't have a channel when she was a little kid. Only I did. Garrett got on YouTube way later in life. But uh, once he did, I was subscribed to him first. Like, I was Don't worry, I'm gonna kill him when he's sleeping. I want to give a huge shout out to Caleb and Bill and Dana and the new things going forward with the shop. They're going to be doing only captive bred species and only captive bred animals at their shop. I believe they're going to be the only ones that are doing this in the country. You can correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I think so. Also, one more huge shout out to them for their amazing hospitality. We had such a great time hanging out with the whole family there, staying at the house, going playing golf, spending time in the pool, just hanging out, playing music. Such a great time. Couldn't imagine spending a weekend with better people. 
And if you didn't get a chance to see them, well, they're going to be at the Anaheim Super Show that we should be at right now as you're watching this video. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. We'll see you on the next one. You guys want to do aloha? Aloha. Say bye, T. <laughs> okay, let's go.